for many are called, but few are chosen. Last week, uh, this uh, if you look at the replay in the Bible study, this didn't make it in there. I had some connection problems, and it actually went really long, or went up um, on live a second time where a lot of this discussion was, and um, then my phone died, and so I lost all of that. So anyway, but there was a discussion about free will, and, um, and some people who were arguing against free will said, you know, use this quote, for many are called, but few are chosen, right? So um, we're going to talk a little bit about what different traditions believe about salvation, about grace, and about free will. We're going to look at three main groups. So we're going to look at Catholics, and then we're going to look at Protestants, and then within Protestantism, we're looking at Arminians and then Calvinists. Okay, so what is the belief about the call of God or the grace of God, right? So in Catholicism and Arminianism, they believe that this call of God to salvation is made to all. And that's what they refer to as prevenient grace, the grace that proceeds. And so in John 3, 16, it said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so Catholics and Protestants other than Calvinists believe that when you look at that verse, all means all, everybody. Calvinists don't believe that. They believe that when it says all, it's only people that God decided in advance that he would save. So they don't believe that Jesus died on the cross for everyone. They believe he only died on the cross for the people who would believe in Jesus and be saved in the end. They don't believe that there is you have any choice of whether you accept Christ or not. That God decided in advance that these certain people would be saved, that Jesus' death on the cross was only for them, and that the people he decided would be saved basically have no say in that, and they just, there's no decision. There's no decision on their part. As someone said, God overrides our will. He makes us do it. Okay, so that's what Calvinists believe about grace. As far as free will, Catholics and our, and everyone other than Calvinists believe that that we have free will. We have a choice. We ch we can choose, right? Calvinists don't believe that. It just basically, you know, in that view, we're just kind of like bags of meat that God moves around according to what He wants. That's basically the thought. There's another um, doctrine that Molinism it explains more fully how God can be how the providence of God, how he can foreknow and work things according to his will, but still allow for free will. 